So I'm gonna be playing some more of this ancient Egypt thing because it's fun and I feel like it. And I also wanna practice talking more. I feel like I've been getting a lot better at it. But uh, anyway, I've been actually playing a lot of PBZ2 Reflourished, which is a mod that basically is just like the base game, except it bounces everything and makes it not pay to win. And also it gives you like more gems, which is something this game doesn't really do at all, except in challenges like these. And the best part is, uh, you can actually use the gems and PVZ2 to flourish by any plant, which is pretty awesome in my eyes. I really appreciate that. And it's something that this game could learn a lot from. And as well, all the um, premium plants in PVZ2 are flourished are gemium. So that's another really cool aspect of that mod. I mean, don't get me wrong, the base game is okay. It's not like, you know, it still has soul to it. I mean, it's not like it's just an evil cash grab. I mean, I've said it before, I'm not the biggest fan of EA, but like, at least the people who made this game put soul into it, you know? Like, you could just see, like, in the animations and stuff like that. They tried, they wanted to make a good game that puts a smile on your face. Except the one thing that doesn't put a smile on anyone's face is <laughs> the pay to win aspect. And I'm gonna be straight with you guys. PV base PVZ2 is pay to win. It just is. I mean, it's not technically, but like, seeing PVZ2 flourish and then looking back at this game, it's like, it kind of eggs you on to buy stuff. It just does. That's kind of the way it is, unfortunately. But it's all right. If, if you don't buy anything in this game, more power to you. I have, I've actually made some pretty dumb purchases, to be honest, like, I bought chili pepper for 14 bucks or 15 bucks or whatever it was. And that was pretty lame, I have to admit. I mean, like, it's fine. I was getting a pretty good income from the 7-Eleven job I was working at, but like, at the same time, like, did I really have to waste that money? Like, there are so much better things I could spend my money on. Like, you know, being with friends and like going out to buy food and you know, video games. Like actually like worthwhile video games. Like Pikmin 4. I still got the game luckily and it's like pretty amazing, but you know, if I had actually saved up my money, I could have gotten the game earlier. And then some. And actually, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a pretty big Pikmin ear. I'm, I'm really in love with the Pikmin franchise. It's like one of my favorite things on the whole entire world, next to Plants vs. Zombies 2. I, I just love it that much. It's so freaking cool. Just the task management aspect to the game. It's super fun. And the whole Dan Dory thing. Pikmin 4 pushes it a lot, but it is actually very useful and applies to real life in a lot of ways that you may not expect. And also, completely off topic from the whole Pikmin thing. <laughs> the peas are so freaking small in this game. They're such tiny little peas. I, I mean, <laughs> it's it's so backwards. Like in PvZ2 or Flourished, they shrunk the cabbages and enlarged the peas. In the base game, the peas are tiny and the cabbages are enlarged. So uh, all I can say is poor peen, it's poor pea. <laughs> Poor pea shooters in the base game with their small pee pee syndrome. <laughs> I almost called the pea shooters <laughs> P E N I S S. <laughs> they kind of are if you think about it. I mean, they literally shoot out peas, which is what the pea body part would do. <coughs> Excuse me. But I, I see. Ugh, freaking, excuse me, guys, I'm so gassy today, but let's see, let's see, there's the really, really flighty torchlight zombies, and the strong, beefy uh, sarcophagus guys, and the pyramid heads, and then there's just a lot of other crap that we have to deal with, so, uh, freaking, uh, get out of here, do I have Shinebind? 
I don't know if I actually have a shine vine. Um, frick. No, I don't have shine vine. Well, whoop de frickin' do, I guess. Yeah, prime, Primal Sunflower is pretty good by, on its own. Oh my goodness, I'm going to turn my iPad on silent mode, which is really freaking annoying because I keep getting spammed by my friends. Ugh, it's whatever. I'm not mad at them, it's just kind of annoying. I have to remember to turn it off, though. Uh, silent mode, but either way. Um, I only got one lane to work with on the far left. So, uh, well, luckily I have Gold Bloom. Uh, hmm, an imitator. Cool, cool. Uh, hmm. Might as well bring Winter Melon. You know, I do have maybe. That could be fun to work with. I haven't really used it all that much, but it seems pretty worthwhile, I would say. Intensive Carrot is also pretty good. It kind of weakens your plants when you use it in the base game, which is kind of annoying, but it's whatever. Uh, Power Lily. I don't know, man. Um, Paracale. Yeah, that's probably a much better idea. I will say it is, it is very convenient to have the gold blooms at your access right away. In a flush, you have to wait for them. Like, like they're immediately like right off the bat, like at the like earliest level of the recharge. So you just have to wait for their full recharge to go by. Hmm. Another aspect of PBZ2 or Flourish is that the Primal Sunflowers actually have a lot more health. Um, so they almost act as like mini walnuts and okay great job maybe great work damn it i try to shovel them before they get eaten but i'm always too slow okay that was probably a weird idea because i just wasted money by doing that but it's just instinct i guess <laughs> well, let's see if this winter melon can kill the cone head yeah, he can do it. He's got this. Hmm. The maybe doesn't do that much damage, it looks like. So that might be a problem. What? Oh, why are you getting stunned so much? It's because you're on top of the maybe? Oh, I had no idea it did that. That's pretty cool, actually. Ah, this is so easy. It looks so hard, but it's actually a walk in the park. I will say that maybe is a really satisfying plant. Because the way that little bees sting the zombies over and over again, it's just fun to watch. It's like, frick, 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 frick. It's almost like Pikmin, actually. Anything like Pikmin, I enjoy. The bees are almost like mini Pikmin, just uh, smacking the zombies with their little butts. <laughs> Imagine if Pikmin did that, they just smacked the enemies with their butts. I mean, purple Pikmin already kind of do that because they're so funky, wonky, and chubby. Wow, too easy. That's just the base game. It can be either really easy or really hard. I know because I played Pain's Pursuit, and that thing is a uh, pain in my buttocks. I feel like Wintermelon did most of the work here, but maybe, maybe he ain't too shabby. It's pretty good. What a weird looking face though. It has this weird cheek and a weird lift thing. That was pretty cool though. I think that's the end of the video. I just kind of want to do that for fun. I mean, I can, right? So why not? See you guys. Thanks for watching.